Hi, my name is Jack Dunnerlein. I'm the program director for our programs in human movement and rehabilitation sciences. Human movement and rehabilitation sciences is a growing field. It brings together many different disciplines, including psychology, engineering, physical therapy, and the like, to determine and restore maximum functional capacity in people um, with and without impairment and helping to improve their overall well being. Rehabilitation and movement sciences is a growing field because. As the World Health Organization uh, has called out in their call of action for rehabilitation in 2030, um, that there is a substantial and ever-increasing unmet need for rehabilitation. This need is a result of increase in non-communicable diseases and injuries across the globe resulting from advances in medicine that has led to increased survival from accidents and diseases, less increasing life expectancy and less re requiring the need for more, uh, more clinical um, and evidence-based approaches to ensuring a, he a healthy and fruitful life throughout the lifespan. This program, while based in the Department of Physical Therapy and Rehabilitation Sciences in the Bouvet College of Health Sciences, really leverages lots of the strengths of Northeastern University here in the Bouvet College of Health Sciences, including the various departments that we collaborate, especially communication and speech disorders, of where we have uh, faculty mentoring our, our, our PhD per, uh, students, um, as well as the overall university where we have strong partnerships with many of the other colleges, including the Curry uh, College of Computer Science, the College of Engineering, College of Science, and the College of Arts and Media and Design. Graduates from the program um, have many opportunities based on, especially based on the need that the World Health Organization has described um, in the academic environment, many of our PhD students will go on to become postdocs um, fellows at, at various other research labs across the globe. Um, we hope that they can become tenure track faculty positions. Um, they can also, um, and in the master's program, many of the master's researchers, uh, do, graduates can become research assistants as well as project managers helping um, PI principal investigators and in laboratories across the globe. Uh, complete research uh, around human movement and rehabilitation sciences. Industry, again, tons of opportunity. Many of my students have gotten jobs in Silicon Valley working on devices and input devices for various uh, computers and, and the like. Um, there's a, a lot of medical device companies requiring our, 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 our skills as well as uh, various uh, devices, um, including um, uh, shoes and, and the various uh, sports equipment that are out there. <laughs> um, gaming as well, in terms of uh, developing games for, for helping uh, uh, helping and, and developing uh, uh, rehabilitation approaches that uses gaming technology. And finally, in the government, there are opportunities, including the DOD and other, uh, the, the NIHs and various organizations there. The de degree requirements vary greatly between the two programs. The master's is a you know 32 credit hour program with 24 required classes, uh, credit hours required and eight electives for visualization. There is a capstone project, uh, which can turn into a thesis or a paper that, that can be published later on. Program is 12 months and it um, can be served as an entry level to the PhD program as well. Um, the doctoral program has 32 credit hours. Um, again, 16 required and 16 electives with individualization. There is a written and oral qualifying exam that's required. Dissertation uh, with that's usually three papers um, and the defense of the dissertation at the end of you know usually four to five years of the program. Um, our 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 program um, has uh, ha has a lot of experiential uh, training for original research both the master's and the PhD program. Um, we have a lot of collaborations with world-renowned health research institutions, and we have the success of our own graduate students to, 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 to describe to you as well. And they are really a testimonial to, our, uh, to the success of the program and its capabilities. We have Kara James, who comes to us from the University of Pittsburgh, who is, has a background in exercise science. Um, Min Chin, who has a background in film studies, again demonstrating the diversity of the field, brings uh, 
experience um, making films to storytelling in the virtual environment. Finally, we have a wide range of state-of-the-art laboratories where we complete our research and can, uh, further training occurs. A lot of robotic interactions with uh, the human. We have a, several labs exploring that. We create different virtual environments to understand and tease out the various uh, motor control aspects of, of, of movement and also disease as well. And a lot of just overall biomechanics um, of the both the upper and lower extremities. Uh, we have a gate lab, we have an uh, upper extremity uh, motion analysis systems in, in, in several labs that we have in our campus. For more information, please check out our websites, including the, 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 the PhD program and our master's program on our, on our department website, as well as our research uh, our research uh, website that describes the various research projects that you can are part of this program. Finally, I want to thank you and on behalf of all the faculty in our department, I want to thank you for your attention today and we look forward to hearing more from you as you go through your process. Thank you very much.